Here we go. Some more videos. It is March 6th, Sunday. The week ahead, the stock market will be opening tomorrow. East Coast time, 9.30. Right now, Dow Jones is down minus 446. Uh, S&P minus 69.50. NASDAQ 287. Russell minus 44. VIX is 34.05. Crude oil about 124.21. All right, so let's take a look. We're looking at these oil stocks that moved Friday. Um, IMPP, Imperial Petroleum. Let me uh, check it on Pimbiz. This is a recent IPO. Look at this move. Is this a move when it IPO'd? It went to 40 cents to eight. Wow, 238,000 million. Um, 31.6 million market cap. Uh, 17.9% institutional ownership. Insiders don't own. I don't see a float on this. I'm thin biz. It's probably pretty low. Uh, together with subsidiaries, provides international seaborne transportation services to oil producers, refineries, commodities traders, and commodities traders. As of September 30th, 2021, it owns and operates cargo fleet with capacity of 255,000 EWT. Company was founded in 2021, based in Athens, Greece. A lot of these uh, bulk shippers and oil, well, not really bulk shipper, a lot of the shipping comes out of Greece, it seems. So there we go. Not much recent news. Um, January 31st announced uh, upsized $12 million underwritten public offering. No, it was January, and this thing dropped. So, you know, pretty easy chart here. It's relatively new. Big move up, ridiculous move. Look at that candle. And then it went down sideways, hugged this $2 line. And then it put in pretty much, what do you got? One, two, four, six, seven, eight. Over 20, 25 candles, a little green candle to the downside. That is a complete washout. You had a spike up, though, right here from this candle. And then at back-to-back -back move, it didn't hold, though. And, you know, it got down the next um, six days. Pretty ugly. This went as low as 48 cents. And then with all the Russian, Ukrainian news, the war, you know, a lot of these stocks, oil stocks, um, oil producers, what else you got? Gas exploration, you know, different stocks that all move. So look at the volume on this. 100 millions right here. Almost every day has been out. And look at the down day. See that? That was the little secret there. That was a big um, bar right here on lower volume. The other days were much higher. Stochastics right here. Wait over a completely bullish. Look at these gap ups. And on Friday, this thing took off. You had a low of 202, a high of 430. You know, where's this going? Can this go back to eight? I don't see why at this point. Yeah, everything's moving so strong. It's very possible. Here, yeah, next move, you're looking for that break of four and then fill this tiny little move here near five. And then I believe on where we could go, the white oils go. Now, as I mentioned, these other stocks and oil can keep down, moving higher. You know, if anything happens, you know, some sort of ceasefire or, you know, any kind of negotiations, it could um, pull back. You can get a lot of stuff pulling back like really fast, really hard. So be aware of that. But right now they're moving, moving pretty hard. See, this is where they move. So 10 a.m., 11, nothing around that 1, 2 p.m. They start to, you know, really grind up here and then take off. On this day, uh, Friday, 250, look at that, over 250, great move. Yeah, 225 line, it's a quarter line below, very nice. And there it went. All the way as high as 425 plus. Every dip was bought here, 13 EMA, solid weekly. You can see the move right down here, draw your line. That was out of the line a little bit, that candle, and then we move up two big candles here. The monthly, same thing, not much to go in here. So, you know, not much to go on chart wise, you know, very limited information. It's a newer stock, not much on news as far as Finviz. Now we're Everything's relatively new in this. So there you go, Ness.
Uh, let me see here. Is anything else here? Yeah, the last news was December. A lot of news too. They reported the third quarter earnings and announced uh, you know the operating information. That was about it. But February seventh, Tower View LLC buys Chambridge Corning Stealth Gas. That was Redwire uh, Guru Focus dot com. So there you go. Now, the stop on this, when you have this four level right here, you know, I would take it in a, you know, 50 cent increments. You have four, 350, and then watch it pulls back really hard three, down the three, then your 250 lines real big. Cause that's when it broke out right there. You can see the line right here on that move back in January, and it came down and went all the way down like a low cross, extremely low. So that 250 lines big if it pulled back, uh, pulls back real hard here. All right, so IMPP, you know, a lot of these stocks are going to keep moving and running. It looks like at this point until you get a crescendo. You know, we've seen this too. Remember in shipping, uh, some of the stocks went to 100. Elfin, COVID blockchain, there's always something. And, um, you know, we'll see how far these run. No one knows exactly for sure, but they're moving with big liquid volume right here. All right, so that's it. Check out this video, IMPP. And please subscribe to Mike Hitman Trade Alerts. Smash the like button. Leave any comments, any information on stocks is always good. Uh, check out my social media below. And that's it. Peace. Later.